book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and the strength of salvation. And the Lord is the treasure. And uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, prayer, and millstone, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akim, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out to you, Akim, out there. Uh, as I was bringing out Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, wisdom knowledge should be the stability of thy time, you know, especially in the times that we are coming into, you know, having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and that uh, stability of a right frame of mind, that stability of a stable mind, you know, in the times that we are coming into, you know, because we're going to need that further and further because spiritual Satan and physical Satan is going to come down with great wrath because he have but a short time, you know. And we're gonna need that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And applying this uh, uh, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, and knowledge, and, and wisdom, righteous wisdom, and putting on the whole armor of the Heavenly Father so we can get, go against the wiles of uh, spiritual Satan in this world, too. So that's why we're keeping the uh, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, and having that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too. Which is a Hamashiach, Yahweh 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 You know, and um, uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 23. In verse 23, the fear of the Lord tender to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfy he shall not be visited with evil right as long as we uh fear the lord and uh keeping the law statutes commandments to the best of our ability and apply this wisdom knowledge and understanding and putting on the whole armor of the uh heavenly father which is your have with that power so we'll be able to withstand against the uh, wiles of the devil and of this world as well too because you know we're living in a uh, upside down crazy society as it is already so because learn out like the scripture says uh, we're for paraphrase and learn out the ways of this world what are the ways of uh yahweh shimel according to the holy scriptures you know so you know that's why uh like the scriptures says the fear of the lord is treasure and uh you know once we uh be able to continue to maintain do these things and then, you know, Yahweh Shemel Shah should not visit us with evil, you know, especially in the times we're coming into, especially the current times as well, too. But when the times of uh, Jacob's trouble come in and then the hour of temptation, then we'll have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And then we'll have everything equip equipped for us. And then we apply these uh, law statutes, commandments, and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Yahweh Shemel Shah, you know. And like the scripture says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's the men of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of uh, Yahweh Basham and Hashem. Through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. On the highways and byways, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. Meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know. So I'm going to give another precept. Uh, this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. In verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh thy power and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, as long as we constantly, uh, consistently seek uh, righteousness and seek the kingdom for the righteous kingdom to come. And that's what the men of the Lord uh, constantly continue seeking, which is that which is about to come very soon uh, the kingdom of Yahweh uh, thy power, you know. Once we uh, seek the kingdom first and continue to seek his righteousness, and all these things should be added onto, on, uh, added onto us, you know. Ecclesiastes 7, 
Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes, which is in the book of Sirach, 17 and 19, verse 19. Wisdom strengthen the wise more than ten mighty men which are in a city, right? Because having uh, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in a humbling way, you know? Because like the scripture says, the meek should inherit the earth, you know? Because that's the meek, the man of the Lord, the true service, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh, and not being boastful, proud, and arrogant. Because the Heavenly Father is not dealing with nobody that's uh, proud and arrogant, you know? He's dealing with somebody that's uh, meek and humble, you know, and searching for uh, righteousness to the best of our ability and keeping the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And keeping the, uh, I mean, applying the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and continue to fear the Lord, uh, continue to fear the Lord, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability and be meekness, humbleness, and sincerity uh, with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And the stability of my time in reference to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know. And this is the, uh, another precept Proverbs 14 and 27. And 27 in the book of Proverbs, and it reads The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life to depart from the snares of death. Right, because the fear of the Lord. Is the foundation of life, you know? Because as long as we continue to fear the Lord, you know, keeping the laws, statutes, commandments, the best of our ability, and then we can escape and depart from the snares of death. Because you know, we want to live, you know, and that's what Yahweh Bashim El Shai want us to live, you know. He didn't want us to die. He want us to live. Now, now if we keep on constantly, consistently doing wickedness. You know, because the Heavenly Father, uh, like Scripture says, a rough paraphrase, he's slow to anger. But once you keep on building up your sins, hey, he's gonna, he's gonna get you. You know, for your iniquities and your transgressions. You know, like, cause like the transgression of law is, is, is a, it's a sin. And I follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. It's not um, doing the law, statutes, commandments, and not taking heed to the word of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. You know. And that's why you're gonna, uh, if you don't follow the ways of your Bashim Al Shab with righteousness, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you're gonna be able to be trapped up in a series of death. That's why I demanded the Lord. That's why we constantly, consist consistently do the will and the work of your Bashim Al Shab to the best of our ability, you know, and do all these things which was commanded us for, for us to do, you know. And we thank uh, your Bashim Al Shab, the water your Bashim Al Shab for giving us this uh, opportunity and chance to be able to have that foundation of life and depart and escape from the snares of death, you know? Because you could be easily get caught up in that, you know? That's why we we uh, follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shah to the best of our ability and implying that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, and the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability as well, too. And walk in the righteous ways of uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you know? And escape from the snares of death and escape from the snares of uh, Satan and his dominions as well, too. That's why we uh, rebuke Shatan in the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. We rebuke Satan in the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. We rebuke the devil, which is to me, is to be to deceive, you know, because he did deceive this whole planet Earth, you know, following the wicked ways of him, you know, spiritual and physical Satan. So we rebuke both of them in the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you know. And so then that becomes sort of a bad habit. It says, uh... Mm -hmm. So with that, I hope this was edifying. The spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, And uh, first and foremost, I would like to give all uh, praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word chiefly and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word chiefly and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word chiefly and sincerely. 
end up, inshallah, going to the Akim. That be like going to the speck of word, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, uh, inshallah, and a ball, ball, ball.